As somebody whose whole life has been in Wales and in music in Wales, I'm, I'm somebody who feels very strongly the, the connection that we have as a nation to, to music, to singing. You know, that Wales is known as the land of song. So Amy Wodge and I have been writing together for a couple of years on, on various projects and we began as we always do and we write together which was we just talk and obviously when we were talking about Covid and the pandemic something that has literally affected everybody on this planet for the last two years there was a lot to say and we started talking about breath Just breathe Count to ten this thing that we all need just to live. Breath was something that we all were so scared of, but also something that we needed to do. You know, just take a breath, just carry on, just, um, just this too will pass, all of that kind of thing. So we just riffed with those kind of ideas and Just Breathe was born. I've been in Only Boys Alive for four years now, I'd say. It was really good being able to come back into a rehearsal space together after not seeing each other in person for so long. I've really loved this song actually, it's really good. I really like the message behind it with the current situation going on and being able to move forward from it like we are now and knowing that it's going to get better and is getting better and it's just a really good positive message that we all really need to have in our lives right now. It was a great atmosphere being with the big band rather than just the backing tracks. And it was good to be in front of an audience after two years. Yeah, this is the thrill of being on stage. It felt really good. It made a real difference being back on stage in front of a crowd. It was amazing to be back performing with my friends, doing what I love um, with the people I love. We've done kind of stuff like this before, but I would say this is different. It's, it's really good, everything which we're writing about, like it's very relevant to today. I don't think I've like, taken part in something like this before. It's been really good though. It's like really good for learning and just ways to be able to write songs. I really like how creative the whole process is. I thought it would be very structural, like you do this and then you do this, but it's very much up to the person how you want to do it. Yeah, well, I've picked up a bass for the first time. And which is <laughs> which is quite fun. Quite a lot of the lyrics are based on like quarantine, and, like how it's it's almost like being trapped, and how it's kind of different now that we're out. It was online lessons, which were actually alright for the first few months. Last month, I actually started just like dipping in and out of them because couldn't do it. It's too stressful. Even with school and education, it gave, it, it gave you a complete new perspective in school. You know, you started to miss it sometimes even, which is crazy to yeah. think. Because two years ago, you asked me that, I would be like, nope, I'll be good if I'm off school. But now that I'm out of it, I feel like it was something that kind of shaped who I am now. Before that, I was never in touch with world events, but now very much reading news and everything. Yeah, it was a bit, felt a bit isolated, being away from my friends for such a long time. And a bit bored, but doing a lot of music, which help me get through it. We've worked a number of times with Sound UK over the years with this project. It was very specific to the moment and I think we really sort of grasped hold of that opportunity to work in this very different context and bring it together at the college with the partners that we were able to bring together for it. So there seemed to be so many stars that were in alignment with this project that uh, I'm just thrilled that we were able to see it through to fruition and hope that everyone likes the song. <laughs> <laughs>